Here we go. Worst comes worst, we'll just do it again. Uh, the avionics troops and the electricians, they had a, uh, a, a rough first go of it when we first got here and they, uh, I mean, it's not very often that crew chiefs walk by a specialist like, man, I'm glad I'm not that guy, but on this trip, the, uh, the electricians and the avionics guys, they were, they were jobbing like crazy when we first got here. Uh, to move them to what is effectively a jungle environment with afternoon rainstorms that don't just last for the afternoon, they last for three, four, five days at a time. That uh, soaks our personnel, our uniforms, but also soaks our airplanes. Any place that water can get into, uh, it does around here. Let me check, check one second, I'll find out again. Yeah, just trying to keep everything dry. Some of the parts we have to dump water out of, let them dry for 24 hours before we could run them because electricity and water doesn't mix very good. I'm Tech Sergeant Robert Checkets, and uh, we're testing the MLPRF here. It's from the Flatline Avionics, and uh, we're just making sure, verifying that it's good or bad, so you can see if we can fix it or not, get it back out on the jet, keep the jets flying. Well, today it's a little hot in here because our air conditioning is broke, so I think it's 75 right now. Normally it's 65 degrees in here. Our station is very finicky if it's not, and it's calibrated at a certain temperature, and so we got to keep it at that same temperature and humidity. Otherwise, we have erroneous fails and uh, intermittent fails everywhere, and so that's, that's why we got to keep it in a temperature-controlled environment. It's really tough going from AC inside to AC in a van in between, then there's rain, you know, so. Yeah, your glasses fog up every time you walk outside. You can't see anything. Yeah. Don't tell the fly line that, though. <laughs> I'm going to do another quick check. Oh. All right, it's good to go. You can call it in. <laughs> They're pretty good. They, uh, they have a lot of knowledge in between them, and they uh, always are helpful and give you tips on how to work better and how to strive for better. I'm Senior Airman Frank Eubanks. I love being a part of the Guard, and I love being out here enjoying Okinawa.